In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a 3x3 three three System of Linear Equations, Problem Type 1. We're given our system here of three equations and three variables, and the process that I'll use here is elimination. I'm going to name the first equation, Equation 1, the second, Equation 2, and the third, Equation 3, to help keep track of things. And I can see that looking at the x's for the first two, equation 1 and equation 2, if I add those, the x's will cancel. So I'm going to use that as a place to start to cancel out the x's twice. First, I'm going to add equation 1 and 2. Here I have rewritten equation 1. And I have equation 2 here lined up below it. If I add these two equations, I can see that the x's cancel. That was my motivation for adding these two, is so that I could eliminate one of the variables. And looking at the y's, 4y minus 2y would give me a 2y. 3z plus 1z would be 4z. And then 0 plus a minus 8 is minus 8. This is a new equation that we have now from eliminating x from equations 1 and 2. Next, I want to eliminate x again, but with different equations. So I'm going to need to use equation 3, and I'm also going to use equation 2, but this time, in order to get the x's to cancel, I'm going to need to take equation 3, but I want to add 2 times equation 2 recognizing that whenever I add these, that will eliminate the x's once again. So to show what that looks like, we first have equation 3, but then I said I want to double equation 2. And the reason I'm doubling is because that will give me a 2x, and I can already see that whenever I add these two, that will cancel out the x's. Continuing to double everything would give me a minus 4y, a plus 2z equals minus 16. Now adding, I again cancel the x's, that's what I was hoping to have happen, and I have a minus y plus 6z equals negative 20. These two equations have given me a 2 by 2 system of equations with only two variables, which is going to make this easier for me to solve. I can continue using elimination, but this time I'm going to take the first, which is 2y plus 4z equals negative 8, and the second, I'm going to multiply this by 2 so that the y's will cancel because this will give me a minus 2y plus 12z equals a negative 40. Adding these cancels the y's. That's why I multiplied by 2 so that the y's would cancel. And I have 16z equals negative 48. So with only one variable now, I can solve this for z by dividing both sides by 16 and getting z equals negative 3. We have our first variable solved, and then I can start working my way back and plugging that in either here or here, where I only have z's and y's to solve for y. It doesn't matter which one we choose, but I'll choose this lower one. When I replace this z, with negative 3, that would give me a negative y plus 6 times z, which we now know as negative 3, equals negative 20. So negative y minus 18 equals negative 20, adding the 18 to isolate the y negative y equals negative 2, so y equals 2, we have 
z equals negative 3, y equals negative 2. From here we can go back to any of the original equations to find x. And since this one has the x by itself, I might as well plug in there. I'll just write it again at the bottom of our page. x minus 2y plus z equals negative 8, plugging in z equals negative 3, and y equals 2 will give us x minus 2 times y, which is 2, plus z, which we now know is minus 3, equals negative 8. Only one variable now, x, so simplifying, x negative 2 times 2 is minus 4, this would be a minus 3, equals negative 8. So x minus 7 equals negative 8. Adding the 7 over, x equals negative 1. So we have x equals negative 1, y equals 2, and z equals negative 3 as our solutions.